The Somali region of Ethiopia, also known as Ogaden, has a long history of conflict, uh, insurgency and counterinsurgency. Decades of fighting has left Ogaden, one of the Ethiopia's poorest regions. Since 1984, the Ogaden National Liberation Front on and left, which is the latest of a series of insurgency groups in the region, has been struggling for self-determination for Somalis in the region. So we formed the OIL, Ogaden National Liberation Front. The basis of the front was the youth, and also some other intellectuals. And the motto was that the Somali people in the Ogaden have a right to decide their, to decide their destiny. I joined all left in 1991. And the reason was our people were surprised and marginalized. The ONLF uh, began as an exile movement in Somalia. They returned to the Somali region uh, in 1991, uh, following the overthrow of the Ethiopian military regime. They participated in the first elections in the Somali region and won the, the assembly uh, for the Somali regional administration. They voted for self-determination, which was a step too far for the Ethiopian leaders in Addis, who lost Eritrea a year earlier. The government moved against the group after this decision, and this led to the group to return to armed insurgency. The government listed on and left as a terrorist organization, and thousands of people across the region were sent to the notorious Jal Ogaden. These new laws provided for sweeping human rights violations. This war effect uh, reached everywhere in the Somali region, and it was really very sad to hear some of the uh, of the news. Uh, they are our citizens, they are our brothers. They have been pushed out by the old uh, system. They uh, took gun because of the level of repression and oppression in the region. We were trying to, to go to another way so we can have talks with the Ethiopian government so we can have another route or another way that we can change from the fighting to these talks. It's very important to build the capacity of um, weaker elements uh, in any conflict to, to allow them to acquire the means and the methods to be able to sit at the table and argue for their case. For example, if we have issue to uh, discuss about the security, they will bring uh, anywhere from the world a security expert we try to understand the constitution of Ethiopia. They bring lawyers which have uh, knowledge to the constitution. Uh, we learned a lot of things, and uh, we were, I, I can say, we could be a PhD graduate from what we are learning from, from the CIR. What we learned is first of all, the issues are complex. You have to have a clear vision, you have to prepare your, your talking points, and also you, you, need to, uh, you need to understand between your demands and needs and you know, as possible. So through the long journey we took together, we gathered about this. And we have also see learned something from us. And I cannot express in words what they did for us and how they help us. Because they start with us and they finish with us, but they stop. And then you trust people you don't trust. And usually what we believe is when you trust people, they, they also give you back. And from the beginning, we are very genuine and they are they're very, very forthcoming. And so we trust them with our lives, with our future, with our secrets. We knew that supporting the official peace talks is key in ending the conflict. But we also knew from our experiences in supporting other peace processes across the world that including wider society in the peace process is vital for ensuring that the peace process sticks and is also credible. So alongside our support to the formal talks, we worked with young people, women, elders, diaspora, academics, former government officials who lived in exile in Nairobi, to ensure that their views on the peace process, as well as on the wider politics in the region, are included in the formal talks. <laughs> Uh, 
dalinyartu waa wax la dagaal gelinayo hadii iyagu ay wax fahmaan waxa meesha ka dhalanayso dalinyartu in aysan dagaalamin oo ay fahmaan nabadda wanaageeda ay leedahay marka taal ajliye dalinyartu waa qaybta ugu muhiimsan ee keeni karto nabad iyo xasilooni waarto inuu yeesho dalku ama deegaanka inclusion is important uh, because first of all conflict comes out of exclusion it's the fact that people feel uh, they are excluded uh, they're not part uh, of um, their power process that they're not uh, uh, active participants in making uh, decisions affecting their lives but when people are struggling for their rights and they, they are going in a conflict situation seeing that others are interested in this conflict to resolve that's a big boost for, for communities Somali diaspora is always important and I think they should be uh, engaged in what's going on in their region. The mothers in Ogaden, they lost everything. Their rights, their lives, their daughters, their sons. So they, there must be a member or a woman in the team, you know, so it is very important actually. Mm -hmm. So it was like a mixture of uh, emotions, like uh, people are in one way happy, or the other way they were telling me very sad news. So the way for 27 years now, and when I came here, it's been really elected. You can see the people how they're happy, how they're going to come. Because we have several people, we have sacrificed our lives. I'm now almost in the late 60s, and all my life I've been standing for the rights of my people. كان حتى وقت كان كان عايرت عني مهمة عاد أول بي يعيد بعدها هو يدي على بحر أنا دوال عكر الشمس عاد أيام أمت يتك يلقى شيء ولا عليه يقرع بدل يكمل في جوردن. When we transition from position of war and conflict and dictatorship to democracy, it's not an easy road. We will struggle and fight for our rights through peaceful means. And we'll be active participants in the politics in this country, the whole of Africa, and even Africa and the world. The peace deal was a historic moment after so many years of negotiations. It brings to an end the armed insurgency in the Somali region. But a peace deal is not the end of a peace process. It's a journey. We're now working with the parties to implement the deal and begin the process of reconciliation and addressing the root causes of the conflict in the region. As a party, we need to prove ourselves that uh, as a fighting force, we're also uh, capable of as a political force that can add something of, of force to the, both the regional, uh, so the regional, also to the wider Ethiopian community of the Horn of Africa. إن أنا كل شخصين قطن كيجا حتى إنه دائنا شوقا وعن صبي وعن شوقيا لأن يرتيه يوم الدين يوحيه وحنو قوان كرنا إن شاء الله إنه نقطان من أرتشينيا كل هاد حقوق وحن صار دونا لكن عرنا هاد ليرتا إيه عرنا هاد ليرتا سنة عن الحكومة دينا هين ونبوا تشيل هين سبت الكم تجان كنا كل يوم يسير أنا توقف على السنة هاي. Oh, the people who are affected by the conflict are broader. Than those who sympathized with Ornalev. We will uh, see them as uh, not as enemies, but as our, our competitors. And we will work with them in that regard. The advice we give to them is that peaceful political struggle is now the way forward for this region. We have seen where uh, the conflict has taken our people. So collectively, let's work together. And uh, it doesn't matter uh, who is in the opposition and who is in government. We only have one country, we only have one people. And therefore, what unites us is more than what divides us. We should work in that spirit.